near national championship season for Florida State. The Knolls go 11-1 with a 31-28 win over Nebraska. They drop to 10-2. Orange Bowl tonight, and that should decide it. For Eyewitness Sports, this is Rick Davis reporting. Well, tomorrow at high noon in Tampa, Florida, it's the first meeting ever between Alabama and Michigan. It's the Hall of Fame Bowl. Now, Alabama's on a roll when you mention postseason bowl games. They've won four in a row in 10 of its last 11. Now, Michigan, on the other hand, has struggled. They've won about three of their last 14 bowl appearances. But still, Michigan is Michigan, one of the better programs in the country. A pop in score, oh, we got to stop them. They got to get a great balance team, you know. Uh, they're pretty big up front, and we just got to do well. Give us one game going into next year. As far as one more game of experience, all, everybody gets the experience playing against a, a Big Ten team, which is going to come out and you know, not try to trick you and ain't going to run straight at you. So we'll get a chance to see our, a lot of our strengths and weaknesses. Ought to be a good one. Even with this, the college football day of the year, UAH is still hoping to attract some of those uh, football players, football fans who may know we really want to get away from the football fever. Tonight, the Chargers hockey team hosts Wisconsin Superior at the Civic Center. It's the first of a two-match battle with the folks from Wisconsin. Face-off is set for 7.30 at the Civic Center. We'll have highlights of that one tonight at 10 o'clock. Well, we want to wish you a happy birthday. Oh. We have a little surprise oh, for you. Good. This is Bobby's daughter, Jennifer. <laughs> happy well, birthday. Thank you. Ain't you sweet. 34 years old. Are you trying to tell me I'm going to gain some weight after eating this cookie? <laughs> no, you're going to share it with us. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, Bobby. Thank you, Jennifer. Well, there are ways to bring in the new year, and then there are ways to bring in the new year. When we come back, one that has become a tradition on Lake Gunnersville. I'm a teacher. I've seen a lot of kids on drugs. I'd wonder how parents could be so blind until I almost lost my own child. We had a problem. Bradford showed us what to do about it. They're caring professionals who showed my son he could live without drugs. I'm a teacher, but when it came to my own child, it took someone else to give me the answers. Recovery can become a reality. Call the Huntsville Bradford Center at 461-7272. It's Bob Hembry's Cash and Carry Sale. You'll be carried away by the tremendous cash savings. Cash in now. Up to $1,000 off the Chevy Cavalier and Celebrity. $500 off on the S10s and full-size trucks. Cash in. The Buick Skyhawk, Somerset Skylock, and the Century. Up to $1,000 cash savings. And up to $1,500 on the Electra and Park Avenue. Cash in now through January 11th at Bob Hembry Buick Chevrolet. During our Cash and Carry Sale, I can promise you'll get carried away. Cash in. One way to get the new year off to a good start is to enjoy the traditional things the day brings, like black-eyed peas, ham, and football. And as Roger Birch reports, there's another sport that almost rivals football on New Year's Day. No, this isn't file footage from last summer. Yes, these people are really water skiing on Lake Gunnersville on New Year's Day. And you're right, it's cold. The temperature is in the upper 30s. And you're right again. They're crazy as coots. But this is a New Year's tradition for the Huntsville Boat and Ski Club. They've started the New Year off on water skis for the last 10 years, with the exception of one year when there was ice on the lake. Now, the logical question is why? It's a tradition to start off the year skiing. It makes our whole year a lot better. What's it like water skiing on a day like today? Cold. The rain hitting in the face hurts. <laughs> But you're going to keep the tradition up, aren't you? Oh, yeah, every year. Got to. Don't know why, though. <laughs> <laughs> the talk around the boathouse is this is a sure cure for a hangover. And if you're a dyed-in-the-wool water skier, it's the only way to start the new year. Everybody here has usually skied on New Year's Day. And we just like to have a good time skiing. <laughs> Now, let's face it, doesn't this look like more fun than sitting around a fire, watching a football game, and eating black-eyed peas? Nah. I'm Roger Birch, 31 Eyewitness News. I don't know. You explain it. One of the top resolutions for this little fella is to find a new home this year. We'll tell you how to help in just a moment. Where can you squeeze the most out of your grocery budget? Nowhere. Nowhere in the world but Food World. 
It doesn't take a genius to figure out that when you save money on everything, you save money. Lower prices than Food World? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. What good are low prices if you can't get the brand you want? That's why I shop at Food World. They've got both. Where? Nowhere. Nowhere in the world but Food World. Where do you spend most of your time? At home? At school? At work? No, you spend most of your time in your shoes, and we could all use a spare pair. So right now, when you buy one pair of select men's, ladies, and children's shoes at Shoe City, you get the second pair free. A free pair of shoes with every pair of fall and winter shoes you buy during the Shoe City clearance sale. Think of them as a second home, and no one has to know how little you pay. That's the Shoe City secret. Well, with a new year, your home may need a fresh new face. And Liz Hurley joins us now with some truly adorable faces. Aren't these little girls cute? Yes. They are sisters. And we believe that they're husky mixes. But, Heather, they have a real sad story uh, behind them. Jeff Laster they're... and his wife, Beth, found these three little girls huddled together trying to stay warm next to a dead deer in the oh, woods. Oh, no. And they were very hungry and very, very scared. But Jeff and his wife have kept them for us for over a week over the holiday so we could have them on pet projects. Oh, how nice. So we have to thank them. And, and they really need a home. And look at this one. Look at this little face. I know. They're She's just about seven. They're all about seven to eight weeks old. Mm -hmm. And they all really need a good home. Evidently, whoever had them and uh, ditched them docked their tails. So they already have docked tails, so they're ready to go to a home. Okay. Well, this is an in a little puppy that has quite an intelligent expression. Yes, darling. Uh, it's fawn-colored and white, as they all are. It has a little fawn-colored dot on top of its head. Uh, they've suffered a lot, apparently, to be yeah, so young. They sure have. Yeah, and look at these little pointed ears, too. All of them seem to have <laughs> black on their face and a little, little black spot true. on this one's nose. But little pointed ears, and of course the tails are docked, as has been said. Let's turn, hey, can you turn around? <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Well, kind of yeah, I'm not supposed to show well, my right. little tail like that. But the little tail is about, about an inch long. <laughs> all these little girls will be available tomorrow morning bright and early at the Animal Control Center on Scrimshire Lane. They're opened at 8 o'clock. They'll be open until 4. So please go down and take one of these little girls home with you. All right. Thanks a lot, Liz. Well, coming up on Eyewitness News at 10, President Reagan and Soviet leader Gorbachev exchange New Year's greetings and goals on U.S. and Soviet television. The TVA board chairman reflects on the old year and looks forward to the new and the final installment of our week-long recap of 1987's Top Stories, a once-in-a-lifetime investment opportunity that turned into a nightmare. Those stories and more tonight at 10. Please join us. Melanie and I are checking out the weather. On Channel 31, I have a lot of computer equipment to help me forecast the weather, but it really comes down to seeing it and understanding what I see. I've got the same kind of feeling about the work being done here at the CP Center. I've seen for myself what's being done for children with CP, and I forecast a brighter day for these youngsters if we all help. Join us at Channel 31 for the CP Telethon on Saturday and Sunday, January 23rd and 24th. Thank you. You're viewing WAAY-TV Huntsville.